And we're back. So good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. I am delighted to be online finally with Kenny. So hey, Kenny, guys. thanks for taking the time out of your Saturday to join us. Um, it's um, always good to have a chat. And we said we're going to, we're really guys just bringing on this week for you some of the people that are coming on to share um, their journeys and their insights and what they're currently doing whilst working in their business uh, for Legends of the Digital World 2.0 Summit, which is on next Friday. And don't worry, the links will be going up there shortly when Kenny starts talking, I'll be typing. So Kenny, why don't you tell everyone uh, a little bit about who you are and where you came from? Yeah, well, you, you cut out there a little bit. I think just the background. Um, basically, I started selling when I was 15 years old, answered an ad in the paper, and um, got a job selling cell phones over the telephone. From there, I got really good at it and uh, moved into the stock business, spent about five or six years there, Series 7, 63, and a 24 license representative and also a general securities principal. Then I went on to uh, the mortgage business, kind of rode that wave, got out right at the right time in 2006, went into the car business for about a year. And then I got fired from the car business and started my consulting company in the same meeting when I was getting fired. And uh, since then, I've kind of been teaching people how to grow their business. <laughs> well, that, that's, that's an interesting way to start. So you got fired and then you start your consultancy business. Yeah, well, basically what happened was I was always a phone guy. So in the car business, obviously, it's, it's mainly face-to-face. -face, but what I realized was that Monday through Friday, when I was working during the day, people were mostly just sitting around doing nothing. So what I was doing was I was cold calling Craigslist in the newspaper, telling people basically, you know, listen, I see you have a 2003 Honda Accord for sale. Listed at five grand. I can give you more. Bring it in. Let me take a look at it. And I was selling probably about 10 or 15 cars that way alone. And on top of that, through the weekend, we were selling more, obviously. But I was kind of filling up that time. And uh, what ended up happening was I got a house deal from, from my general manager, and it ended up being a very close relative to the owner of the franchise that I worked for. And I sold them a car that was too small for him. He couldn't fit in it. So they had to fire me for it. But when they fired me, I basically said to him, listen, let me teach all your salespeople how I'm doing this phone stuff during the week. And they were like, all right, we can't hire you as an employee, but there's nothing saying we can't hire you as a consultant. So I got paid $800 a month for that deal. And uh, not a lot of money, but I trained all the salespeople on how to do that, and I kind of just built out from there. And how did you make the transition to the internet? Well, I had to find a way where I could scale bigger than what I, – I, I didn't really want to just travel from dealership to dealership and, and place to place. So that's really when I started putting training together because I realized that I didn't need to be there to actually sit and listen to them on the phone and teach them how to do it. So I could just record myself doing it and then uh, kind of just release that training to the people and let them take it from there. And uh, to be honest with you, that was a lot easier for me and I made a lot more money that way. But the results weren't there because I, I, I always felt that kind of, you know, if I'm doing it with them, obviously the results are going to be a lot higher. It's kind of like a personal trainer versus, a, you know, a thing you download online and watch on your TV and you work out in your living room. Same type of deal. So the results were a lot better when I was there, but uh, I just couldn't handle it. I mean, you know, I was traveling from place to place every single day. And, you know, you got to find a way to have your time, too. So money, money is important. But time is, is important as well. Well, I saw. I think I saw a comment on Facebook today. Somebody was making comments about, you know, they, they, nobody, everybody says they're not interested in making money until your fridge is empty. But it is also, money, money's very important when you don't have money. When you have money, then time starts getting much more important again. Right. It, it's, it's, a, and it's, it's to get that balance, which is one of the things that we all love about the internet life, let's be honest yeah, about it. For sure. You know, so why don't you give the folks a little idea of what you're currently doing and some of the stuff that you're going to be talking about at the, the summit at the weekend, but without, like, guys, you have to turn up to get all of it. So let's be honest. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be worth worth the watch and worth the listen. We're going to go through – I'm not somebody who just reads slides. You're not going to see 4,000 slides of rented Ferraris and fake planes and everything else. I don't do any of that stuff. It's going to be straight training throughout the entire thing. Um, you know, listen, I, I drive a Jeep Wrangler and an F-150. I'm not a fancy guy. It's not how I live. But the bottom line is we're going to be teaching you guys. I've been highly successful in digital product launches. I've been doing that for a very long time. I have 42 product of the days on Warrior Plus and two product of the year nominations. Seven months ago, a guy by the name of Scott Powell came to me with an idea, and I stopped all of that stuff dead in its tracks, and I've been focusing on that 100%. So basically what he did was he came up with an idea where we could give away a free service, and everyone that gives away that free service gets paid $97 a month. And since we started in January, we have not lost one paying client. So 
Uh, it's an amazing opportunity for everybody involved, and not only does it help the member, you know, the person who's taking the training, but it also helps the small local business. It helps the community. It helps all the employees at the business and branches out from there. It helps the families and the owners and everything else. And we're big on making sure that Amazon is successful, but we won't want them to take over everybody. We want to make sure that the communities stay. We don't want every place in the United States looking like Flint, Michigan, if you know what I mean. So, uh, you know, and I see that in five years. So this is not obviously going to fix that entire problem, but it definitely is going to help keep some of the local pizza places and the plumbers and the doctors and everybody else uh, in business. Yeah, no, it, it, it was one of the things that I was talking to a mutual friend said about because I, I do a lot. I, I'm an ex-retailer, um, so I, co I come from the, the retail world and it's kind of, it's where I cut my teeth and have a lot of respect for retailers because, you know, you open the premises and all the rest of it. it to me, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I didn't want to do it anymore because it's just too much like hard work. But anybody who does do it, I have a lot of respect for them. But yeah, they have been getting hammered by the internet. Mm -hmm. You know, so how do you help balance that? So you teach them how to use the internet to, to balance that. What's the the idea? Well, I'm not really a big internet guy, to be honest with you. No, and we don't really. I mean, yeah, we we have tools that we use to to leverage the internet, mainly Google reviews and Facebook reviews and Yelp reviews and things like that. Uh, but the bottom line is, I mean, what I teach is I teach real business. That means you're going to be, you know, face to face with people. You're going to be calling people. You're going to be emailing people. You know, the Internet is a great thing, but the bottom line is no matter how hard you dig on the Internet, unless you're paying for ads, that's a different deal. But no matter how hard you dig on the Internet, you're never going to have a truly qualified product. You're not going to know because even with search, I mean, they're finding you and they obviously want what, what you're selling or, or they're looking for. it. But the bottom line is you don't know if that guy's got the money for it. It could be a 12-year-old kid, right? We want to qualify on want, need, desire, ability, and authority. And if we could do those three things when we talk to an owner, and again, we're giving away a free thing. So say that, say that, you, you want to qualify three things, what are they again? Three, yeah, three things, want, need, and desire. They have to want what we're, what we're doing, right? If, if somebody if somebody is pulling up to a car dealership with a brand new car with a window sticker on it, I don't care how good of a car salesman you are, you're not going to sell them a car. Yes. They have to want a car in some way, shape, or form in order to do it, right? Yes. But at the same respect, if someone pulls up into a car dealership with a duct tape bumper on the front and they have a 400 credit score and they don't work, you're not going to sell them a car either. So they could want it, but if they can't afford it, it doesn't work. And in the same token, if you have a millionaire who wants a car but he's 12, you're not going to sell him a car either because he doesn't have the authority to say yes. So want, need, desire, ability, and authority. Those are the three things that we look for. And when we find those three things, all we're doing is giving away a free thing, right? So cost is out is out of the question and it's a google review tool or a facebook review tool or a yelp review it's a review tool that's going to help them grow their company it proves fast and we can connect it to revenue very easily so unlike seo where you got to wait six eight months to see the actual result we see a result within three or four hours yeah I, I see, seo not any disrespect to anybody in seo but yeah seo has become an interesting um lunatic asylum because, but it's, it's, it, 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 we, we could very go on our hole, but we won't. It, it is interesting the way Google sandbox you and do all the rest of it. So, when, if I am starting out or if I'm looking for business, is this something or is this for existing business owners? Who's it for? Is it for some, what was that? I'm sorry. So, if I'm, if I'm looking for, say, a second income or I'm looking to go into business for myself or I have an existing business, who is this for? Does it cover, is there something for everybody, or is it a particular person that works right. best with you? Right, every single training that I've ever created in my life is designed to either be picked up from the ground and started something, start something new with, or to add a second income stream to what you're currently doing. So if you are someone who's an SEO person or web developer or whatever, you can very easily add this to the back end of your business. If you're someone who lives in the middle of Kansas and you're a 65-year-old person, you just got your first social security check, this is something that you could very easily – listen, again, you're not going to be driving a Ferrari next month. But it's something that you could very easily build an income of twenty five hundred, three grand, four grand, something like that. And again, all you got to do is give away something for free. We take care of everything else after that. So – you know, I want to be very clear. This is not one of those Facebook ad type things where you're going to see the boats and the planes and the cars. That's not how we designed it. That's not how we wanted to do it. We wanted it where every single person or as many people as possible in middle America and other parts of the country. And we're in four, I think, three different languages now. But we wanted where everybody, no matter who you are, could pick it up and very simply just give something away to your barber when you get your hair cut or the pizza place when you're going to pick up a pie or whatever. And every time you do that, you get paid $97 a month. And literally all you have to do is give away the free thing. We take care of everything else from that point forward. 
Okay. Fa- I am absolutely fascinated to see what this is uh, and how it works. So, and you said you set yourself in a partner, you've been doing this seven months, eight months? Yeah, well, look, my partner in the in the deal, Scott, he, he brought it to me in December. Uh, we launched officially on, I think, January 18th. And since that point, we've been able to put on about 550 or so members. Okay, so it's tried and tested and worked. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep. So let's start. Let's, since there's a warrior connection here because we gave away an interview with Mike Lance, um Give us a small insight into what you did because I found I found it interesting that something that you said. You're not an internet guy, but you mm-hmm. had how many launches the other day, I'm Warrior? Oh, how many launches? I have no idea. I had 42 product of the day awards uh, total. But you're not an internet guy. <laughs> well, no, I'm, I'm talking about like what I teach. Yeah. Right. So you're not going to find me teaching like the YouTube hacker ninja method or anything. Like I, I teach mainly prospect. Like I like people that want to go door to door. I like people who want to hit the phone. I like people who want to get into a meeting and close real deals. You know, I'm not saying the internet's a bad thing. It's not, but unless you're willing to to do paid ads, and and this is just the truth that people aren't willing to tell you, unless you're willing to do paid ads, it is really, really tough to get started. Or if you know somebody, you know, if you know somebody, it's a little bit easier. I I got lucky because back in 2008, we had the warrior forum. It wasn't just warrior plus. So I could launch a thread and what did I have in there? I had people who wanted what I had. They had the ability to pay for it, and they had the authority to say yes or no right now. Qualified prospects all over the place. So I was able to just launch a thread and bump it, and I built my list that way. Now I got 20,000 people on active campaign, and I got JVs all over the place. I just push a button, and I, it's, it's no skill involved at all. You know, I, I have the connections now. I have the, the, the audience for it. But when it comes to Warrior Plus, when I mean I'm not an Internet guy, I'm talking about my training Um that I teach. I, I mainly teach like offline marketing stuff and, and stuff like that. Wait, which you, you might find ironic guys that were bringing this to legends of the digital world. But what Kenny's doing is integrating, you know, some of the stuff that works online with some of the stuff that works offline. And it, it's a very, very interesting match because the reality is, is that one does not exist without the other and the other does not exist without the other. It just doesn't. Everybody turns around and says, you know, the top internet marketers use an offline stuff. The top offline marketers use an internet stuff. It, it's just a part of the toolkit. And what we're doing on this is by bringing the likes of Kenny on and some of the other lads is we're giving you as much of the toolkit as we possibly can uh, within one, three days that you can actually walk away with a complete comprehensive um, kit. Kenny, I'm not going to keep you much longer, man. If there's anything else you want to add to it, because it's Saturday night for me and it's Saturday afternoon for you and I can see your head into the water i do like the, <laughs> uh, you will know there's a common thread guys okay across all of the speakers is we kind of take the um i'm going to be polite we kind of take the mickey out of the uh hi this is my ferrari and this is my house and i've just made <laughs> seven billion dollars by and i don't even have to turn on my computer and the guy is on the rented car and hoping to god nobody opens the door of the house behind him and tells him move again <laughs> right before he gets the video done you know like uh, I, I, I love it because, like, look, business is business, folks. Like, the reality is you're going to see this on it. When it comes to, compared to digging coal out of a coal mine or it comes to mixing cement on a site where I started, you couldn't call this hard work and risk. But it is a business. It is work. There is risk. There's no point in saying there's not. There's always risk. And a lot of the time the risk is whether you're going to do something with it or not. Is, right. is 90% of the risk is are you actually willing to do something? Uh, you know, but this, um, you know, we, we both come from the days of the push button millions. Like, you know, you, you just press the computer once and, like, you know, relax. You'll be a billionaire. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 you know, one thing I'll add to that is is if if any of those things worked, I highly doubt that people watching this have, you know, we've all bought something like that. I mean, it, it, myself included, it, it is what it is. Yeah. If those things worked, we wouldn't be here doing this stuff because, you know, I'd be out on that yacht right there that's driving by the house. I, I wouldn't be talking. You know, it, the bottom line is it doesn't work. It doesn't uh, work. I, I have, right about the internet. The internet is just a tool. Yes. It's a tool that needs to be combined with other things in order for you to see results from it. So, I, 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 had a, I had a woman approach me. Um, I was uh, doing a speaking um, gig in, in Dublin, and a woman came back to me and said, right, if you can guarantee me that you make me 5000 an hour, I'll pay you 500 an hour. <laughs> Why don't you just do it yourself? 
So right? let me get this right. You pay me 500 an hour and I make you 5,000 an hour and that's a good deal for me. Right. Right. But th- that, that seems to be the mentality of a lot of people that, oh, you're going to do it. You got to learn. I have a, a saying that I keep talking about is what mount it you earn is it's in direct relationship to the mount you learn. Right. So right. you're going to have guys like Kenny coming on um, and giving you a really outside the box thinking different ways of doing stuff and a great opportunity so Kenny thanks very much for coming on this Saturday I really do appreciate it man um, I look forward to seeing you um, we'll be announcing the schedule you've got to register to find the schedule that's the way it works if you want to know when Kenny's on register <laughs> the link is there so guys with that I wish you a great day and uh, Kenny again thanks very much for coming on thanks guys sign up looking forward to seeing you